Hiya, Pidge here, and what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys some tips and tricks in SALT. Now, if, uh, if you guys have been watching a lot of videos and playing SALT for any decent amount of time, you probably know a bunch of these, um, especially if you watch. I've learned a lot of these from watching Nerd Rocks videos, which are amazing. Check those out. Um, and actually learning from his videos and the comments in his videos I've learned a lot of this stuff but this is just kind of a few things that when I first started playing I wish I would have known and so um, you guys that have been playing salt for any amount of time this may be quite boring video for you but for the rest of you that maybe you're just starting this game or just checking it out um, for me I would have liked to have some of this stuff it would have been kind of useful so it's gonna be a lot of jumping back and forth and uh, a lot of cutting in and cutting out um, but just showing you some of the things that I've found out to be very quite helpful uh, in this game. So, enjoy, and thank you. Alright, one of the first things I'm going to show you is the raft. This is one of the first boats that you craft uh, in the first in the first island. And an easy way to control this is what you want to do is you want to set your sail. And you want to step right over here just behind the control. Where you can see where you're going grab the control there you go that's a simple way to see where you're going without turning back and forth and uh, sadly enough when I first started I was standing here and turning around and steering backwards and then yeah. so anyway hope that helps Alright, the next tip is the quick select. So, you've got a lot of uh, things in your inventory to cycle through, and uh, going back and forth between them seems to be a pain. And this was kind of a hard thing for me to figure out. Um, but all you do in order to put something in the quick select, and you have uh, one through nine for those, is you actually you just hold the cursor over the item that you wish to select, and then you press the button that you wish to select it to and uh, one of the cool things that I've found is that you can actually put multiple items on one quick select so for instance on mine uh, I have one is my heavy weapons which is my long sword and my axe two is my bow three is my pickaxe four is actually the quick select for my uh, insta boat <laughs> Let's see, five is uh, my short sword, so it would be my scimitar, and my moon rock sword. Six is then my torch. Seven, this is probably the most useful, is seven I have my compass and uh, my sexton, so at the same time I can use both, um, figure out where I'm going. Um, then eight is my bombs, and then the next one that I have on uh, 9 and 0 are my health and so what I have here is uh, I have bandages and potions uh, on 9 and then I have some pristine deer meat on 0 and so what you want to do is all of those things um, help with your health but what they do is they they have a buff and a time that you can use before you can use the next one. The bandage heals over time whereas the uh, potion gives an immediate uh, health and then of course the uh, deer meat feeds you but also gives you some uh, different foods give you different buffs and you just kinda have to play around with that and figure it out but for instance if I press 9 and 0 I did not I, I didn't need the health right now but uh, I went ahead and ate the deer meat. You can see that it uh, gave me a little buff down here. Uh, and then when I do need health, that the bandage and the potion would kick in um, with the same fast key. And so it really helps out during battle um, to be able to do those. Alright, next is, so you've killed several pirates 
and you've noticed that you've gotten a lot of these broken pirate axes now with these um, they're not just trash what you want to do is you want to actually open up your crafting menu and you want to just put those in the crafting just like that and what you'll do is you'll craft and each time you'll get a uh, a random item to be added to your uh, supplies and you'll notice it down here at the bottom so let's go ahead and do this and the first one we've got a hardwood log next we've got just a regular wood log hardwood another hardwood another wood and it really tends to help out um, especially see we got a magnetic stone that time um, really helps out when you're trying to get different woods such as especially hardwood which seems to be really hard to come by uh, it's a good way to find that and the magnetic stones as well and some of the rare items you can get simply by just crafting those extra pirate axes all right the next tip is on resting and you can see the sun is just going down and if what you'll do is right when the sun goes down now if you want if you would rather I do suggest that uh, this game has a lot of really cool night content so I suggest checking that out as much as possible but if you choose to sleep wait till right when the sun goes down then simply select 12 hours and rest and boom a fresh sunrise for morning <laughs> Alright, so you're traveling to your pirate ship that you've repaired, and you're um, quite impatient, so you take your boat to quickly get to the pirate ship, but you don't want to get there, and your boat crash into your pirate ship, and then you're sunk, and that's just a pain. You don't want to do that. So what you do is, remember we've got our insta boat equipped, and right before we get there, we just respawn our insta boat, and then jump on our boat, and... Uh, it's just kind of a uh, nice little quick way to do that and then also when you're going to go to the shore you just simply insta boat and go for it and head to shore all right so one of the biggest challenges in this game is uh, this game is huge there's the map is huge and I'm actually on the default map there's even custom maps and it's just it's it's just big and it's kind of hard to remember where you've been and where you haven't been and you could write down and you know your coordinates and everything like that but one of the easiest things to do is if you open up your crafting menu and let's add some logs and some cloth and go over and right there and make a flag and you take these flags and you find a good prominent spot on the island and all you simply do is just put this flag down and that flag will stay and that's your flag that's your symbol showing you that you've been to this island before and so if you put one of those on each island that you've been to it will help you remember uh, where you've been and uh, where you haven't Alright, next, uh, keep an eye out whenever you're going through a lot of trees and a lot of areas. You see in the top of the trees, you can see tree fruit there. And that's uh, used for a number of things. You can use it for uh, bait, you can also use it for food. And some tree fruits give certain buffs and that kind of thing. So what you want to do is, I'm not sure which one of these trees it's coming out with. But you can take just about anything, a sword or whatever, and simply knock the tree. And that tree fruit's going to fall. Alright, so next is uh, when you start to find these statues, these ancient statues, um, you get some really cool ancient metal off of these guys, but you got to know how to get it. So if you're lucky enough to find a merchant that's got some bombs, you take your bombs and they kind of roll, so you got to be careful how you place them. But you place the bombs and it's actually going to take about, um, I'll go ahead and use one here. You want to make sure you get back when you use one though. They actually take about three bombs and then you'll get uh, ancient stone or metal whatever it is out of that then after that once you get three of them the next thing you want to do is the 
first three that you get, you actually want to craft you an ancient pickaxe. Because once you have that, then every time you find these guys, you just mine them out. And there you go. You get your ancient metal. When you're hunting or using the bow and arrow, um, you're hunting deer or even uh, pirates, you want to crouch with control. And your bow and arrow actually, I've found, does more damage the farther away it is. But if whatever you're shooting at um, is unaware of your presence, you more often than not get a critical hit and only takes one shot. Also, another thing I've noticed is whenever you're using the bow, um, that's a good critical hit. Anyway, whenever you're using the bow, uh, I found that hard stone arrows uh, make a substantial difference over the regular arrows. And um, you should have in your little crafting guide, you should have how to make the hard stone arrows right here and I do suggest those as they do help quite a bit also <laughs> I actually just learned this one while making this uh, recording but if you craft and you'll use regular crude arrows and also black flower potion which is poison you can get poison arrows and uh, that's pretty cool. That's all I got. And let's see what they get right here. You got 21 pierce, which is actually pretty decent. Decent, 80% uh, retrieval chance. Plus, you get a poison arrow, which I think is really, really cool. Not quite as powerful as the hard stone, but you get that poison effect. It's pretty cool. All right. The next thing that we're gonna do is some combat tips. Um, we talked about health earlier and. Uh, you know, quick keying your health items. We've got some pirates over here. We're about to go try. Uh, one of the things is dodging. And if you'll press the space key and jump um, in a certain direction, you'll kind of do a little bit of a dodge. And uh, if you're like me, uh, you get a little impatient. You kind of tend to run everywhere. But you end up using your stamina very quickly that way. And so, especially when you get to going into a battle, um, you want to watch that stamina bar because you're going to need that for the battle if you go to doing power attacks to hold it down uh, or if you get to doing any kind of dodges so we're going to go try out some of these combat techniques Also, uh, I've noticed for some reason, I actually noticed this from watching Nerds video, that for some odd reason, it helps to kind of jump up and down. <laughs> also, you want to uh, you want to aim for the head. Try to get as many of those critical hits as you can. One of the things that I've found that's just kind of a theory, it may or may not be true, is if you see a pirate ship just off the shore of an island, especially one with plumes, that you'll, uh, it's been my experience that you'll mostly find a pirate captain uh, on the island somewhere. Now, that's not necessarily means that it would be a named captain, but it does, does mean that there is a uh, pirate captain somewhere. Now. One of the ways you can find out if it's going to be a named captain or not is if the uh, pirates that you encounter are pirate battle masters. They tend to be uh, followed by a pirate captain, uh, a named captain. So if you have a 
pirate ship offshore and battle masters then you know suit up you may be fighting a named captain but uh, we're going to kind of test this out we're going to look around and see if we can find a uh, pirate captain on here and this is a different file actually so I'm totally unequipped and uh, if we do find one we're most certainly going to die so let's go see what we can find here um, I know for sure I saw a pirate uh, coming up now there's one up there but I can't tell if that's a pirate or a captain let's go find out There's a cartographer. Run. I have no weapons or anything. I just seen the ship and decided to check it out. I can hear the dude behind me. <laughs> Head towards the smoke. This dude's keeping up pretty good. Is he gonna come down that hill? Oh, he's gonna go around. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, there's a regular pirate. And uh, this theory is probably, probably totally bogus, but it's just kind of been my experience in the game uh, for those things to kind of line up. So. Uh, Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but um, it's a good idea to be ready just in case. <laughs> oh, 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 man, all these guys want to... Ooh. You know what? All I have is a club, and you're about to get a club. You want a club? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm having an out-of-body experience there. All right, so lastly, you've done plundered some pirates and taken the loot of their ship, and you want to make sure that they're not going to follow you. So what you actually want to do is you want to take your uh, insta-boat here. You want to place it just about so. There we go. Let's go ahead and mess that up. Now we know those pirates won't be following us this time. <laughs> Alright guys, well, thanks for watching as the sun sets. And uh, as I find more stuff out, um, uh, I'll put some, maybe some more videos up and some more tricks and things like that. I'm resisting the urge not to do that boulder right now. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, sub, and bye ya.